Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion. And in this lesson, I want to show you how to create this really cool jelly kind of magnetic effect. The, this is in real time. This isn't a uh, like animation. I'm just literally dragging these layers and this is the effect you can uh, set up. And for some cool examples, uh, you can scroll below the page if, if this is on my blog or go to dribble.com. But I just pulled out a couple that I thought were really cool examples of how this looks in a animation. So there's those, and then there's like this one. It's just like a really cool, fun thing to play around with. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and import this, my PSD here, and I'll show you how I set that up. Okay, so this is the PSD. Nothing's uh, like animating. And I'm just gonna pop this open in Photoshop and just show you real quick what's going on under the hood. It's real simple. And basically what we have here is just a few layers. Um, and this is exactly how it comes through in, whew, in After Effects. This is why After Effects is great. Um, and it, by the way, I should say that if, if you would like to get started animating your UI projects in After Effects you, and you don't know how to do that, head over to my website, uxinmotion.net and just put in your email address right here. And I will send you this free video. It's, it's a prototyping with that. Adobe After Effects Fast Start. It's for designers. I'm a designer. This is like the training I wish I would have had. I wish somebody would have made for me. Totally demystifies motion. If you've never worked with uh, on a timeline before, this is totally for you. All right, so enough about that. Let's jam on this beast. Okay, so this is really simple, guys. All you have to do is make a new adjustment layer. So go under Layer New Adjustment Layer. Boom. And you know, it doesn't matter where it goes at this point because where, where you're gonna put it is right here. So you want the icons above it and the icon backgrounds below it. That's pretty much it. Now, if you hit Command Shift T, it brings up your effect controls and we're just gonna add two quick effects. And effects, if you don't know, are basically like Photoshop filters except you can animate them over time, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna add a couple effects. So I'm just gonna add a fast blur effect and it's at zero right now. And I'm gonna go to this weird thing called matte down here, simple choker, check that out. You're like, what? All right, so for the blurriness, I, I played around with these, you know, it's kind of up to you. I'm gonna use 25 right now. And you can see it's just literally a blur layer on top of it. So it kind of works like an adjustment layer in um, in uh, Photoshop. but so now, okay, so we got that. And now with this simple choker, it's gonna like create a mat of that. And I'm gonna set that to 25 also. And boom. So you'll notice something here that when you go ahead and set these up, this is why I brought in these guides ahead of time from uh, Photoshop, is when you apply this effect, the fast blur and the choker, it actually scales them down. And so now what we have to do is scale them back up. So I'm just gonna select these four layers right here. And before I scale them though, I wanna move their anchor points back to the center. By default, when, um, when After Effects brings in a layer from Photoshop that has that is a shape layer, it basically makes it one big ass layer with a mask on it. It's kinda of wonky. Um, if you don't have it as a shape layer in uh, Photoshop, this won't happen, but this may, this may be a hiccup for you. So you'll notice that when I wanna uh, like edit those layers, I have to lock down my adjustment layer because it fills up the whole thing. So just click that. And now I can click my background layer, hit Y on the keyboard and just drag this over. Make sure my snapping is turned on. That's really cool. And now I can just go through and just click these layers. Boom. And move the anchor point back to the center. Click this, move the anchor point back to the center. Okay, cool. And now if I shift select all these layers and hit S for scale, I can just go ahead and scale these up to match. I'm just trying to match the edges right here, which is the original size. And in doing this before, it's about it's about 15. <laughs> Not quite, buddy. Uh, it's about 115 seems to work. So, you know, for you, if you're playing with these numbers, you can use those or you can do something else. Now is the cool part. You'll see that, I'll just turn off snapping and I'll hide the, um, the layer boundaries. If you hit Command Shift H, it, hi it hides the layer boundaries. Now you can see that these are actually fully working. And if I wanted the icon to move with my layer, all I'd have to do is parent it right here. So I'm just gonna quickly parent this down to my uh, favorite. 
down here, boom. So now when I drag this around, the icon comes with it as well. And that's how you do this. That's how you set this up. It's really, really simple. Um, I'm just gonna parent these as well so you can see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go like that. Prove, prove background, I'm gonna hide my guides. And now I can just literally click and drag and I can build any animation I want. And this will work totally live now. This is a live um, effect. So anyway, that's it. That really simple. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.